My daughter really loves to play coloring games, but I don't really like to pay for all those games. Of course, I did what every developer dad does, I tried to create my own version with React Native to color some SVGs. And the result is actually fascinating, because it is really that easy, but I couldn't find a lot about this online. So, to help you, to help all the other developers out there build cool games for their kids, I will now show you how you can do this, and I really promise you it's going to be that easy. So. Let's start a new application. Uh, I already prepared the statement, so bun create expo app. We're gonna do a drawing app, and this time I will use the blank TypeScript template. So my command line is really not long enough. I'm using bun simply because it's a bit faster, and we can run it like this, and uh, that's going to be ready like in a second. And I can open my drawing app immediately. We also don't really need the expo router in this application, as it's just like one page that I want to show you. Um, of course, what I want to do is I want to zoom in for you because otherwise you can't see anything. And uh, here we go. There we're inside. And then we're going to install one additional package that we need for our drawing application. So we're going to install the React Native SVG package. And then we can follow this up with, uh, was it Bunix Expo? Uh, yeah, that should bring up the preview. I'm going with I and the iOS simulator. You could also use Android or you could use your device. And then you should pretty soon see your application up and running. Good. Okay, here we go. Here's my application on my simulator. So you should have that as well. Now go ahead and create a new folder, components. Of course, the usual Visual Studio Code bug. Uh, comes in so here we go components and the first one I will add a uh, dummy SVG now this is actually the most uh, the, the biggest problem of the whole story here so in order to create a drawing app you need uh, cool Elsas and cars and whatnot in SVG format and yes you can find some online but be aware there might be some licenses and you don't want to hurt that so you might have to create this uh, with your own tools. I did this actually I did this for a super simple SVG. Um, I just draw some like uh, rectangles and stars and whatnot on the screen and I copied that into my application now using React Native SVG. So you see we have the G, we have Rect, we have probably also have some ellipse here and I manually attached some events to them. So I did add on press and fill to each of the elements. You can also have path elements but um, this is really the tedious part of the whole story here. Because what this means is basically when I press on this rectangle, it will call the onFill function, which does something, and the fill will use the fill color. So you can already picture in your head, okay, at some parent state, we're gonna have this onFill, which fills an array of states, uh, of colors, and then these might be painted. So this is probably already the most important piece of this tutorial if you're putting this together for your own children. Um, this might take some time and you have to find the right SVGs. But now let me show you how the rest of the story plays out and how you can build out this application because we're gonna really end up with something pretty cool that you can quite quickly put into use and then extend. So I will now also add an SVG viewer.tsx um, and within this um, viewer I will now, can I have like a uh, rank native functional export your yeah, SVG viewer um, and then we're gonna add some type here so SVG viewer props and what we need are the fill colors which is an array exactly and on fill we're gonna do something as well we're basically at this point just passing this th through oh yeah I forgot the I of course here as always okay this is our SVG viewer so for now I will just drop in the uh, dummy SVG and then we're gonna extend that later. This will complain because we also need to specify the fill colors. Um, so pass in fill colors. Do we have them? Uh, we need to extract them from our props. You, we can do that. On fill and fill colors. You know, the cool thing about working on a project like this is they kind of have a real purpose behind it and you really feel the joy when working on this. It's really cool. I just can't bring up all the time to finish this, which is like a pity. Um, but I have a basic version which at least gave me some, uh, some, some good feelings. 
and my daughter actually tried it out and she liked it. So we have this SVG Viva, come on Simon, please. Okay, that's better. And now let's include this in our app TSX. So when we currently have all the fun here, uh, let's remove that. So that's gone. And then we have the SVG, SVG viewer. So we're not doing like a um, whole game thing in here, but you could easily extend this to become a game. Uh, SVG viewer has the same problems. It needs unfill and unpress. So at this point here, at the parent level, we're gonna actually introduce the state. So I'm gonna have fill colors, which is an empty array to begin with. And then we also need our const current color. So current uh, color, and that's also using a state. We can actually, yeah, let's probably use black. I don't know. We can also use red. That's probably better. And then pass the fill colors, just like before, just passing this through. And also the, uh, what else do we have? Colors, fill colors, unfill. Oh, we need unfill, right? Okay, unfill uh, should be a function. So const unfill should do something. Okay, for now, we're just gonna put in a little lock statement here. So logging I and then unfill. Okay, this should be, the basic outline of our SVG viewer. Why we're not seeing anything? That's a good question. So within my SVG viewer, I haven't specified anything. So probably that's the case. Um, if I just add style uh, flex one in here, we might be able, okay, yeah, we don't see anything yet. Uh, are we actually seeing or getting a problem? No, we're not, but I don't see my shapes. Okay, yeah, the problem could be and we have exactly zero fill color so far. Um, so how can we change that? We get black lines. Um, I will set my fill colors in the app with a use effect hook. So, oh, come on, just take the recommendation. And let's set set fill colors array. Um, Okay, that's an interesting way of doing this, but that's definitely not what I wanted to do. So I will just wanna fill this with white for now. And this is a bit problematic because basically you need to know how many elements you're gonna have in here. So you see index zero, index one, two, three, five. I currently only have five, um, but you need to figure this out in advance. So I will just fill this with white, okay. Does it already work like this? Nope, not yet. So we're not yet seeing this, but that shouldn't be a problem. Let's get back to the SVG viewer. So what I noticed in here is that um, if you simply put this on the screen, um, you won't see anything yet. Um, the reason is that, oh, what is this? I just noticed something in my, uh, yeah, in my, yeah, that we forgot, of course. Um, let me tell you the story. So the problem is if we now use an SVG around this, um, it might work. So it will work, why will it work? Because our dummy SVG only has a G tag up here and it's not a finished SVG. I wanted to have that logic really at this level, but we really need a width and a height. So if I specify a width of, I don't know, something, uh, 100 and a height of 200, Okay, we start to see something. Now we can change this to our needs, of course. We could use dimensions. So let's try this out. Um, dimensions dot get, um, let's get the screen size here. So we're gonna get screen dot, uh, what was this? This is width. Oh, come on, I selected width. You're sometimes also screaming at Visual Studio. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Okay, so we got screen width and height. Not too bad, it's a start, it's a start, right? If I now click on something, um, it's not really filling up. Why is it not filling up? What is my fill color? Mm, fill color is currently red. So that's my current color. It actually kinda should work. Are we passing that color somewhere? Well, we're, uh, we're not handling on fill. But we should see, yeah, we should see this. So this is the important piece here, look at this. If I press on something in here, 
we get the right number of the element. And that is enough for us to fill the array at the right index with the currently selected color. So we could do this now by simply saying uh, we extract the right element, um, we give it the current color, and then we set this to our array. As a result, we have the very basic version of our drawing application working. Okay, so this is really the the centerpiece. Now, let's extend this a bit. I'm going to give you some more ideas of what you can do, but this once I got to this point, I knew, okay, I'm ready, I can do this, I got everything figured out. So now it's ever, really just like making sure it works better. First recommendation is that you put this here into a scroll view. Oh, that was a great click sign. Um, because if you put this in a scroll view, you can actually zoom in and if you have like specific drawings, it's a lot better if you use it like that. So I will remove this here. We don't really need the flex one and instead add a scroll view around this. Um, the scroll view wraps the whole SVG component and so far, well, we can do this. That's not really cool, right? Uh, we now also face the problem of we want to uh, scroll both horizontal and vertical, which wasn't actually that easy <laughs> to get done. So let's first of all specify a maximum zoom scale, maybe like something like three, and then a minimum zoom scale of, I don't know, uh, 0 0.5. So you can really uh, try and zoom in and, oops, zoom in and zoom out, okay? Having some, some fun with that one, but still, uh, I can't actually do like horizontal scrolling. That comes now. Let's attach some styling here. So for the style, I will make sure that we're using the full screen width. So I will use my dimensions once again. Okay. Um, so we should be able to get this. Okay, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Um, on top of that, we adding content container style now. And this one will be pretty much the same, but I will double this. So as a result, you can see that we have now a lot more space to zoom and to play with, okay? And we can zoom in pretty close. It's not too important in this example, uh, but in other cases in SVGs that I tried, that was actually quite important. So now we also need to change our SVG in general, because if we see, it's initially very small. Um, we can do this by simply changing our SVG here to take like the double width and double height. And then you can also um, change the view box a tiny bit to make sure that everything is in the right place. Actually, can I hide like the scroll? What is it like show? Uh, show vertical scroll indicator false. Okay. Uh, okay, the vertical scroll indicator is still there. Maybe that's in shows horizontal. Oh, yeah, I picked the wrong one, but yes. Okay, let's hide both. Okay, vertical. So that was like a little indicator right here, which is now gone. Okay, I think this is pretty good. We can zoom in, we can play around with this. Um, and that should be a great start for most of your projects, in, actually. Now, the last thing I wanted to do is, of course, we need different colors. So with that in place, let's hit reload. That's a great place to get started. And now let's simply drop in a new component. I will call this color palette.tsx, really making this one quick. Uh, all pro members of Galaxies can, of course, check out the code on Galaxies as well. For now, let's just quickly go over this. So the color palette has some defined colors. You could have more colors. Uh, and then it has an interface which allows to, uh, to pass in the current color and call the change color. And of course, it will just create a little row. Probably I should show you this in action. So let's just add this to our app TSX. It shouldn't be hard. Uh, let's just put it in here, color palette. Uh, it needs the current color and it needs a function to change the color. So we should probably come up with a change color function, which simply sets our current color. It's really that easy. Uh, actually, yeah. Why do I do this? Actually, we can just use the stage. That's right. Okay, so here we go. We got it at the top. Uh, we could change this now to a safe area view instead from React Native. I haven't installed the actual 
uh, save area view package. So make sure you like do this. I just wanted to introduce it and show you how you could have that. So right now we have the current color and the set current color. And once we click on something, we would call the change color with the color of our iteration. And we also check if one is active by checking if the current color is equal to color and then add the according active class, which comes down here from our style. So I can now toggle between them and the one with the border is of course the selected one. So I can now play around and paint as much as I want and do this completely for free. So I can zoom um, and of course you could have like a little logic if everything is painted or not and then do like fireworks or uh, have a button to clear all the colors and like from here on pretty much the sky's the limit but I was so happy that I got to this point that I kind of couldn't bring up any more motivation to finish this. So I really hope one of the galactic members or of the community here on YouTube is able to take this a step further and develop maybe some sort of free drawing app for a kid with this logic. Because you see, it's really that easy. I hope you have all the tools now on your tool belt. You got like how to uh, color the SVG, um, how to do the color palette and changing of the color and the click events and the zooming and, and scrolling So the only thing left is really to put this now in a whole container and of course figuring out the SVG problem Maybe a designer could help with that and do like the drawings with an SVG I'm really not into SVG. So this is the best I could came up with so if you develop something, please let me know in the comments and otherwise let me know. Do you want to see more kids games done with React Native? I'm open to this. I really love this. So we'll catch you in the next video.